Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this EVGA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Oh man, this is the video, I don't know if you've all been waiting for it, but I've been super excited to make this one. Um, I got my hands on this EVGA uh, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Um, and we're gonna do the install on here. So my current machine here is a Lenovo Legion with a 2060. Uh, now the Super or anything like that is just the uh, RTX, uh, is it RTX? Yes, RTX 2060, and we're gonna upgrade it to this EVGA. Um, my particular machine, I believe, has the right power requirements for this, and we're gonna go through that full install process. Uh, the first thing you'll wanna do is make sure you've deleted anything off of your computer that is not NVIDIA. So if you have a non-NVIDIA graphics card, you'll wanna go in and delete all of your graphics card drivers from this machine before you install this. Um, if you already have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can leave those ones on. These should be compatible. This one I have is an NVIDIA as well, so we'll be able to do the crossover fairly easily there. We dodged that bullet. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing on this guy though. All right, let's go ahead and break this guy open here. Cutting our seal. Let's see, is this a slide out? No. So does the card just slide out here? That is hefty. Okay, so our information guide looks extensive. Um, shows us our power requirements, things like that. I do highly recommend reading through this, making sure we're not missing anything important. On the right side, it's just a single page. And here, lactostatic sensitive area, be careful. Ground yourself. Inside of that, Another padded package. They really want you to not damage this thing on the way here. Lastly, our EVGA electrostatic bag here. Actually, this might just peel right off. And our first look at the new graphics card. There it is. There's a lot going on here, huh? Okay, there is a lot of plastic on here, so let's make sure we get that removed first. Oh dear, be careful, it is stuck underneath the trim of this guy here. Let me make sure we get all of it out, that one off nicely. That one here as well. And then we do have a rubber cover over our um, pins here. I'm gonna leave that there for now, as well as a rubber cover over our uh, screw, our mount plate there. Looks like this EVGA symbol also has a sticker. Let's go ahead and remove that. All right, well, things to pay attention to here. We have our power port right here. This is a four pin connector. Um, I thought there would be two connectors on this one, but it looks like it's just the one. We do have three display ports as well as a fourth HDMI port. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and shut down our computer, disconnect everything from the desktop and lay it out here and we're gonna swap everything out. All right, here is our desktop. We got a couple of thumb screws over on this side here. I'm gonna remove these two first. Got those. And then right here, there is a Thing. You can slide the whole thing back and then it'll lift up and off. Now what we need to remove is this guy. So first we got a little thumb screw holding this on. And 
There we go. And that'll loosen this guy up so we can pull that door loose. Next is our power. And then we're gonna take off this trim here. So there's gonna be a screw right there. And then I believe there's one on the top and the bottom as well. And then on the top here, there's a wing. I think we gotta push it down to get it to release. There we go. And the whole card will lift up and out. And here is our graphics card. As you can see here on the right, we do have a shroud. It actually goes to the PC itself, but it doesn't fit the new graphics card. There's two little screws in here you can use to remove it and install this graphics card in another PC. I'm not sure that the shroud will fit in another PC. All right, so those two screws and then this whole thing comes out, the GeForce RTX 2060. We'll take off our little plastic guard here. It's made of silicone. And then lower it down in. Three days later. Wow, that is a tight fit. Man, sorry if I blocked your view there for a while, but that is a really tight fit on there. Okay, and then we'll put our guard back on here. That holds it down. One eternity later. There we go. That guard is tough. And to really finagle it to get it there, so you have to really push that guard down on this new graphics card here. Um, but, man, that is solid once it's in. All right, then we make sure we still have the same four pin connector. And then, I think this is gonna mount upside down. So before it was like this, so we're gonna rotate it upside down like that, and I believe it'll clip in just like this. Beautiful. And then we still have our extra connectors here that could go for other things like an Elgato or whatever that might need additional power. We have a three pin and a two pin still. Not that that matters necessarily in this video. It's plugged in, it's screwed together. Let's go ahead and add our faceplate again. Glass cover on. There we go, make sure everything lines up correctly and just like that, press it together. There we go. Thumb screws in the back. And that's the physical installation. We're gonna go ahead and plug all of our cords and stuff back into the back of this where it was before, and then we'll run our tests and things. All right, we got everything plugged back in. We're gonna turn on the power and see what happens here. Sounds good. I hear fans, I see lights. anything on my display yet. Oh, there we go. RGB's coming in. And we're back. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know what exactly I did wrong, but um, I ended up having to take the whole graphics card out re-putting it in, making sure it was seated really, really well um, onto the motherboard, and then re-securing all my screws, double-checking my power cable was in all the way, and then I turned it on. Oh yeah, and make sure your display port is plug plugged into the one that's on the very far right. Um, so if you're looking at your four ports, pick the very far right one if you can. Um, so there we go. We are back in business. Let's do a uh, benchmark test. Actually, you know what I do want to do first is uh, let's 
uh, make sure we got the most up-to-date drivers for this new graphics card. So to make sure you have the right driver, there's a couple of ways you can do it. If you already have an NVIDIA driver or an NVIDIA card and you have the G NVIDIA GeForce Experience program, you can just jump into there and then say, hey, check for updates, it'll automatically update. But where I'm going from a 20 series to a 30 series, I'm gonna go directly to EVGA, download their driver, and uh, make sure it's, and that'll make sure that it's the most up to date and it's the correct one that'll give me all of the options possible for this graphics card. So, it is just finished doing all of our updates here. All right, finish, hit close to complete it all. And there's our GeForce experience. Oh. This shows all of the games that I have and things like that. Drivers. You can say, hey, I have the most up-to-date one. It was updated on uh, January 14th, 2020. So we're, we're pretty close to the most recent update. Um, there hasn't been a new update since then, at least I should say. Uh, today is the 30th of January. All right, let's go ahead and close out all of our extra windows. And it's time for the benchmarks. So I have a 3D mark on my computer. Honestly, I feel like it's a great way to go. Um, I got this off of Steam's library for I think it was five dollars and it is a renowned benchmark system that you know everyone uses so it's it creates an even benchmark across the board for everyone. So I did a benchmark before I removed my old graphics card just showing hey where am I at. Um, I did one when I first got this machine but I've added a lot of programs. I've made a lot of changes here and there that kind of showed, hey, here's the difference from then to now. And I actually ended up raising my score by 80 points. I'm not sure how exactly. It could be uh, graphics card optimizations and updates, or it could have been, I think the only real big difference I have going on in here right now is that I have my updated um, SSD in there. So it's a faster SSD that can help process things a little quicker. So there are three options here. You got the storage benchmark, which you have to pay extra for. CPU profile came with it but I'm here just for Time Spy. That's the one that'll do a Direct X 12 benchmark for gaming PCs. So let's go ahead and run that one. It's the only program running on my computer. Make sure that you don't have any others running on there, otherwise that will affect your score. Here we go. All right, benchmarks have been completed and uh, that's an impressive jump. That's a really impressive jump. I'm very happy about what we just got out of this. So. Um, if you look right here, ta-da, uh, the magic of, uh, you know, computers and things, we scored on the new machine, we have 10,686, and the previous benchmark score was 7,486. Um, and you can see here our differences. We have, um, from there, let's see, graphics score goes from 7,000 to 10. Um, graphics test one, we're getting, uh, from 45 frames per second to 71, 41 frames per second to 60, and our CPU test is the same because it's the same CPU. Um, and then if we scroll down to our graphics card, you can see our differences here. The old one was six gigabytes or 6,000 megabytes, and the new one is eight gigabytes or 8,000 megabytes. About the same uh, clock frequency, memory is about is the same. Uh, clock roots are the same. Temperatures, this one was two degrees warmer, but that's not really that big of a deal typically. Um, it does have a newer driver version because it's the 30 series, not the 20, or yeah, 20 series. And yeah, so it's 30% it's better. Literally 30% better. That is a huge difference. Um, so there you go. That is the difference. There is the new uh, installation of my graphics card. Pretty simple to do. Uh, much easier than I thought it would be. Um, there was the one hiccup in the middle where, you know, I, I guess I didn't get it seated on the motherboard just right. Um, and then I also had my uh, display cable plugged into the wrong port. But everything's plugged in, working now. Just had to unplug it all and replug it all back in and make sure it was real in there. In there make sure it was in there real firm. Um, Good luck getting one of these. I'm sorry, I'd say, hey, check out the links below to get these, but honestly, um, 
I don't know that you'll be able to find them very easily right now. Uh, if I do end up finding somewhere that does have some, I'll try and leave links for that below. But um, for everything else, all of my other uh, computer stuff, my keyboard, my mice, um, all of my accessories, I'll leave links for those down in the description below. If you have questions or if there's anything else that I've missed, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll be as helpful as I can. Uh, this is a fairly easy upgrade to do and it's quite a big one that can make a big difference for you for things like video games and video editing. Uh, those are the two things that I do the most. So there you go. That is the new EVGA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Um, let me know what you want to see next and we'll see you guys in the next video.